Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks from Gainey Titan, and we're on Fisherman's Bay, and I'm the Amex Chaffee. Buck Peters is at the wheel, and um, we're in command of the tank. And I've been using Buck, I use Buck for the T25 AT. When I rebought the tank, uh, he had a skill, I think he had six cents trained up, possibly mentor, and uh, I then continued on and trained up, I think, a pair. Now he has, I've been playing the T25 AT and I'm becoming a bit unsatisfied, I was playing I think training, what do you call it, uh, clutch braking, because I reckon it'll be useful in the whole line since there are turrets in these tanks, and they're not the fastest on traversing, but I've been very unsatisfied with the recent play because um, the tank is really underskilled, it probably needs view range and stealth skills to really get the most out of the T25 AT. The armor doesn't really hold up, and I didn't have either. I don't see the point in really training stealth skills because its successors are not stealthy. So, Buck, I decided it needed to complete a few more skills, and then I would switch to training recon. And took him out, put him in the T34, and used uh, skill boosters that I had accumulated to train up the skills. I got a bit bored of the T34 and I put him on the AMX Chaffee. I had one or two games and then I had this butte. So I'm doing my usual thing in the centre at um, Fisherman's Bay, trying to keep people spotted, trying to um, basically keep the enemy at bay, stop them pu pushing through the village too aggressively. Really probably should have taken a bit more care with those shots, didn't do too well at all. Half a clip of ammunition. And not a lot of return out for it, and there isn't a huge amount of ammunition on the MX Chaffee or any of these uh, mid tier auto rollers. So, team looks okay at the moment. I mean, we're going fairly aggressively on both flanks, and we have a reasonable number of tanks in the center. So, things. We're down a tank, though. Um, I don't know what we're down. We're down something medium tank. Only one of our tanks is in total useless position, and that's that guy over there at A4, where he pretty really can't shoot anybody. Start putting rounds into this IS-2, and whether it's armor angling or RNG, whatever the hell, I just could put a round through him to save my life. Got caught in front of the E50 here, and uh, well, it could have been a lot worse. At least he stopped and gave me the opportunity to escape from a stuck in front of his tank, and he didn't just. Um, drive on and push me out of, the, out of cover. We're now down three tanks and the enemy are only, well we've caught even, the enemy, no, the enemy are still ahead. However our attack down the western flank looks like it's faltering, these guys are in trouble so I'm coming over here to help. Um, because nobody else has been spotted, only those couple of enemies have been spotted, not a large number of enemies. And now there's only one left and I come over the top and we put a couple of rounds into the Pershing uh, pattern and that's the end of him and then we get rid of the Waffentrager and I remember GGing um, the pattern player after the match but he actually did pretty well, he got well over 3, nearly 4k damage I think and um, he thanks me for actually saving his ass over here so the T20 if it was just one of us, I think we would be in trouble, but the T20 against the two of us really doesn't have a chance. He should have just ran away at the first chance as soon as I backed off, when it was obvious that it was reloading. But by hanging around, he has sealed his fate and doomed himself. So I'm going to come out now, and he's going to get around into me, right? but that's it. I'm going to get, I'm going to clip him out at this point, because he's just too low on health. And there he is, he is gone. So it was a Stuart Emil after appearing, but he's a bit late at the party and uh, Stuart Emil's once they're spotted are usually not much of a threat. Especially since he's out on top and up in the open like that. Um, I didn't put any round into him, but if I stay away from the front of that big gun I should be okay. And we successfully do so, we're now starting to pull ahead. So around the back I come, I've reloaded, there's an enemy tank isolated over on the western side of the map in IS-2. He's backing up. We should be able to get a round or two in. We do, and it focuses attention down on me. 
which then of course leaves him completely exposed to either the tank destroyer or the pattern, whichever one it was that uh, just blew him away just now. This unfortunately leaves me at the opposite end of the map, but well, not quite the opposite end of the map. The opposite end of the map and, map and width, and at probably one of the furthest points I could be from the current source of the action. The only place worse would have been up around A1. Because that tank destroyer has not moved the guy in A5. Oh, he has moved, he was in A4 earlier on. He's moved to A5. He still can't see anything. So, on either can I, not from this bush anyway, so we might as well push forward, keep going. There's only two enemy tanks left and less time than it took me to describe what happened in the last few minutes. And there's a Waffentrigger Panzer IV. Try and come around the back of the building and he's he's dead by now. Um, just as quick like quick as that. There's a car Arvin left and I think that is pretty much it. So we come up with we'll put down the car Arvin. Well, um, he's out, we put one shot into him, one shot over the top of the turret, we come around, we sort of fake it, turn, come back the way we came and is he ready for us because he, he's dead. Doesn't matter what he is, whether he thinks we're here or not. So it's game over, victory, all vehicles destroyed and uh, well, we didn't lose too many. So how did we do? How did I do? Uh, well, I survived. I got 24,000 credits, 1,400 uh, damage, 480, almost 1,500. So we get a fire for effect. We have a first-class mastery. We don't get much in the line of sister damage. But we came number one by experience in a tier 9 match against tier 7, tier 7, tier 8, tier 9. So that is pretty good. Uh, I'll definitely take that under the current circumstances that we had so much um, damage done. The tortoise with over 5k damage and the M46 pattern with 3,814 damage are pretty respectable scores also. In fact, most of our team did pretty well. Number one out of uh, a field of tier 9 tanks, and it's a pretty solid field of tier 9 and tier 8 tanks, it is a score that I'm going to be really happy with under the current circumstances. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like and a thumbs up. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel, I will catch you all again soon, bye for now.